Hello everybody, in this video I'm talking about Glossika and Kurdish Sirani. Hello everybody, this time six months ago I had a few language learning goals and at that time we were in lockdown and I had a lot of time to spare and since then I've returned to work and I found that I couldn't maintain those language learning goals so I stopped actively learning Kurdish and Polish for a while and just concentrated on Mandarin and I found that a lot more effective at the time and my Mandarin has improved over the last few months so I'm happy with that and I've had the opportunity to practice quite a lot at the Polyglot conference and at work with a new customer who speaks Mandarin, he's from Korea, and with um, a work colleague. So um, just a few days ago it was announced that we're going back into lockdown, so I'll probably be at home for another month. So um, what are my plans now? Well, I feel that I'm ready to go back to learning some more Kurdish Sirani, because um, I've had a few months break and I feel fresh and re kind of energized and I want to um, concentrate on that language again now. So I've chosen one main resource to work with and that's Glossika and in this video I'm going to show you how Glossika works and um, Glossika is absolutely free for Sirani Kurdish uh, because Kurdish is classed as a minority language and there are some other free languages on Glossika such as Cornish, Welsh, Catalan and uh, a couple of varieties of Hakka. Um, so if I would have to pay, um, it would start from about $25 a month, and that's about the lowest um, rate, that's if you subscribe for one whole year. Um, but this will give me access to all the languages, so I could actually pay that and learn uh, any other of the languages I, I wanted to on, on Glossika. The only missing feature that's um, not on the free version is the microphone feature. Um, but I'm not worried about um, not having that feature, so that's that's okay for me. Um, so how does Glossika actually work? Well, Glossika uses a spaced repetition system, um, a bit like Pimsleur, the Pimsleur method, and new phrases are repeated periodically. Um, there's a review feature that enables you to go over phrases that you've already been exposed to, um, thus helping to embed them in the long-term memory. Um, all the recorded words and phrases are made by native speakers, so that's really good. And they're spoken in a normal voice. So you can actually slow the voice down if you want to, or speed it up a little bit. There's various speed settings, but the voice isn't um, slowed down ridiculously slow when you go to the slowest setting. So you can also change the source language. Um, so if I wanted to learn through another language, say like for example French or German, I could change my language from English to one of those other languages and there are different varieties of English as well so um, what I did was I started off with the default language which was English USA and I saw this was on USA and I thought oh, I think I'll change it to English UK but I didn't actually like the voice of the English UK so I changed it back to the um, USA one which is a little bit louder and a bit clearer actually. <laughs> so as I said I think Glossika is similar to Pimsleur in that you pick up the grammar um, the pronunciation and the structure of the language organically in a kind of natural way and the vocabulary too and it's up to you to learn the grammar yourself so um, all Glossika does is supplies the phrases and I quite like this idea because um, I think I can use Glossika between doing other things I can have it on in the background as well um, so um, I do like this way of this, this method of learning so unlike Pimsleur, which is all audio, you can see your progress through a weekly chart and this displays um, items that you re reviewed as well as new inputs. So one colour is for the reviewed items and one colour is for new items and you can see this over a period of a week. Um, you can set your daily number of review and new phrases to different settings according to the amount of time you have to spare. So I've just changed my settings higher because I know I'm going to be hear a lot, a lot more during the day, um, so I've changed it to the maximum um, kind of button values, so that's a hundred of each, um, although you can change it from anything to 1 to 9,999, um, but I can't imagine inputting 9,999 phrases a day, that's a bit um, excessive I think. 
So from the main page, you can see your memory strengths. Um, if you select this feature, you can see the phrases as a list. So this will be useful if you want to write out the phrases one by one. So if you select the review feature, you can change how you review your phrases to one of four different settings. You can review the most recent phrases, um, or you can start from your weakest memory strengths. You can review the whole collection, or you can review phrases that you flagged as favorites with the heart icon. So at the bottom right of each um, phrase, there's a little heart button and you can flag this up. Does your phone have a camera? Mobile cut camera here. Mobile cut camera here. And that puts those particular phrases into a folder. So you could review all those phrases if you want to do it that way. Um, you can also click on the smiley face at the bottom of the phrase to flag up the phrase as easy. And what this does is it takes the phrase out of the equation. So next time you don't have to keep revising that phrase again because it's an easy, you've flagged it as easy. So that means you already know it. I've got blue eyes. Tom Sheena. Tom Sheena. Um, so before you start on a course, right at the very beginning when you first start Glossica, you can take a placement test to find out which level you're at. So Glossica um, categorises the levels at A1, I think it's A1 Basic, A1 Advanced, A2 Basic, A2 Advanced and so on right up to C1. So um, I did a test when I first started with Glossica which was a few months ago and I was only really dabbling with Glossica at the time, so I didn't really, um, you know, I was kind of looking into different resources for learning Kurdish, so I didn't really um, stick with Glossica, I just dabbled around with it for a bit. And I think it put, it placed me at um, level A1, or A1 beginner, something like that. So that was fine, because I knew that was my level. But I thought, well, having returned to Glossica, I think I'll do a placement test. So I did that, and I, was placed at B2 level and I thought wow I'm not B2 level I haven't learned that much Kurdish in the last few months in fact I haven't even been studying it for a few months um, but I think just by fluke um, I answered all the questions correctly um, because the test placement the uh, placement test is um, multiple choice so I think some of them I guessed from the words and some of them, are, it was just a fluke, I just picked on the right one by chance. So um, what I've done is I've taken a placement test again, and here's a video of me doing that. Hello, I just did a test on Glossika, on Kurdish Sarani, and I got a B2 low level, which is completely rubbish. I'm not that higher level, probably like more like A1, possibly just into A2. Um, but I took a test and I got every single answer right because I was able to hear, well, work it out sort of logically. Because I'm, so I'm going to redo a test and um, you'll see what I mean. And I know I won't get um, so a Kurdish placement test. Let's show you how this works. <laughs> I think it. What do you do in your free time? I only works that out because of the verb um, ending in a bait. So it's like you. Are you afraid of spiders? Niwaro. Noon. I heard the word Niwaro. No peace, Calpio and DBOK. 
it's got to be the telephone one, isn't it? I don't know, I'm just going to guess. No, it had to be one of the middle ones, because it was a longer sentence. That's this one, because I had Piaurek at the beginning, a man. Sayak is a car. I think it's this one. No. Okay. I, I didn't have a clue there. Bir karbun I think it's the first one because it sounds like conjugation of they. No, okay. A2, that's more like it. I'm happy with that. So let's see what um, kind of things come up with uh, learning new items in A2. Yeah, that's more like my level. Ali is at work. Ali ala sarkar. Ali ala sarkar. The course is ending on Friday. Kursa karroji hini kotaidit. 